So getting started. So you guys want to make a movie, right? You want to, you want to head out and you're going to get started on this. The first thing, overhead is everything. You know, if you're going to shoot a movie for 100 grand, or you're going to shoot a movie for 100 million, it doesn't really matter. Keep your overhead limited. And by that I mean if it can be shot for 100 grand, do it. But if it can't be realistic enough not to venture into it because it's going to shoot you in the foot. Your film will suffer, your sales deal will suffer, and it'll be a really bad experience and you don't know look raising the difference between 100 and 125 thousand dollars may not seem like a lot of money but if you have an actor on that film who has a great experience versus a horrible experience you have no idea where that relationship is going to lead you you know you'll be really surprised what one film leads to and how it leads you to your next project so i'd say really take an honest approach to the, to limiting your overhead absolutely yeah. negotiating uh, this goes back to partnerships but it also goes back to just straight up negotiating everything um, don't be nitpicky, but understand what the market value of something is and understand where your vendors or where your relationships lie. You know, if you have a vendor who needs your rental, negotiate with them. They need to work their item just as much as you need to save money. So work it. Yeah, I, I think also figure out where you want to spend, like, you know, try to keep everything on an even keel when you're budgeting it. We'll, we'll sort of delve into this a little bit more in a bit, but you want to try to keep everything at a fair level uh, with the way that you're going to, to price everything out on your film. But if there's something that's really going to, um, you know, push it over, if you need to get a, a particular actor that's really going to drive sales, or that's where you want to kind of spend a little bit additional amount, um, but keep everything else at an even keel, because it can very easily get out of control uh, and just spiral, where you have all these 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 costs that generate additional costs and generate additional costs, and all of a sudden you're over budget, you haven't even gone into production yet. Um, so like you're saying, negotiating is everything, you know. You can do it on hiring. <clears throat> sure, and that, that kind of goes into hiring as well. Um, Hiring is, is so key. I think that's something that uh, that we we learned after doing a few films uh, was probably the most important aspect of producing a film. You need to um, every single person, every single department head on your on your film needs to be uh, exactly what the film calls for, and you need to have a, a relationship where you can communicate. Uh, they're not going to take advantage of the situation. They're not there specifically, um, you know, to just to put something on their reel. Uh, you want to speak with someone, you want to get someone that's talented, someone that cares about your project, um, and you want to have a, a strong working relationship with them. Because once you sort of have a relationship with uh, you know, a director of photography, um, moving on to your next project, you know, now you have someone that's incredibly talented, you've worked with before, you understand each other's workflow, um, and it's incredibly important to have someone that actually knows what they're doing even on a low budget set. If you have a cinematographer that doesn't really know what they're doing, they're fresh out of school, and you put them on a big film set, your film is gonna suffer no matter what. If you're gonna get them for you know 100 bucks a day or whatever, and they're like, okay, we're cutting budget, it's not gonna work, the film's gonna look like, it's just not gonna look right. Um, and here's the thing, you can make a movie that way. There's no doubt, I and mean, I don't mm -hmm. think, I don't think- Absolutely, and people have done it, yeah, people, people have done do it many it. times I mean, before. We have, we have people who come into us and say, look, I made this movie for $15,000, and it's like, great, but no sales agent's gonna sell it for you. So your investor's out 15 grand. It's a great exercise in futility, but if you want to make something that's a profitable investment and you can actually build on, do it proper. Right, and it also goes, you know, for for every department head, you know, you can't you can't expect uh, gaffers and, and whoever else to be interested in your project. They are there for a paycheck. They're, that's their job, um, and you know, they're not going to negotiate. They're not going to say, oh, I'm you know. I'm going to waive my overtime fee for no reason. Yeah, it'd be, it, we, we often talk about the analogy of this. It's often it, it, it's almost like saying to, to a cashier at a, at a checkout counter, you want them to be really invested in that grocery store. They're there for a paycheck. That's what a gaffer is. That's what a key grip is. That's their job. They're there to make sure it's set up and move on. They don't care if you go into overtime. They don't care if your movie goes to Sundance. All they care about is you pay them on time, on schedule, and get your project done so they can move on to their next job. And if it's a low-budget movie, even if you think, oh, I, I, their attitude's bad, they're doing you a favor. You know, a pro gaffer, a pro key grip, they're skilled. You know, they're they're skilled in in, in ways that in efficiency, essentially. And they're, 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 they're efficiency. saving you money. They're they're really there to to keep your bottom line lower. And then selling is everything. Uh, we'll get into this more in the, the second half of the day, but pre-selling is is changing. Uh, the ability to to sell territories of your film before you actually shoot, based on your package, is a term called pre-selling. It's, it's very much changing, um, and we'll, we'll get into that later today, but pre-selling is, mm -hmm. is typically the, 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 is capped at about 30% of your budget. So if you have a $100,000 film, you can probably pre-sell at a max of 30 grand. But being able to do that requires an actor or a director or a writer 
and a producer who have delivered to a sales company or a distributor before.